Welcome to part two of our whole food plant-based eating experience. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn from the laws of attraction in action and of course, food beyond its nutrition. Well, in part two, we're going to be sharing with you our likes and dislikes. We're going to be talking about our creativity as in regards to um, the recipes. We're going to be talking about taste profiling and feelings of deprivation, needing versus wanting. And I also think we're going to be talking about what surprised us the most. And of course, we're going to give you our final summation of what we think and thought and continue to think about whole food, plant-based eating. So stay tuned. What was your creative experience like with whole food, plant-based eating? Loving to cook, turning to whole food plant-based really has stretched, it has stretched my creative juices, my creativity in the kitchen. Mm. Because I was saying to you that I felt like in this process, I had been in a box. Right, right. And we eat a lot of vegetables. We're not somebody who don't eat vegetables. We eat a lot of vegetables. Mm. But now creating in a way where uh, your, your entree or your main course is a vegetable with sides that are vegetables, this really stretched. It stretched my mind. And, and, and let me say is that when we first started the process, I was looking at, you know, when I started eating the, uh, the whole food uh, plant base, I was thinking, okay, well, you know, uh, do I really need this meat, right? So then I, I kind of broke it down to, you know, do I need it or do I want it? Mm, yeah. yes. So do I need the, the, the meat to have a good meal? No, I do not. Do I want the meat to have a good meal? In some cases, yes, I want the meat. Like with my pork, yes, I love my pork. <laughs> yeah. So And my chicken, I love my chicken and my pork. But, but the, the difference is, it's like, is it a want or is it a need? And... Really, what I have come to the conclusion of is that I don't need the meat. However, you know, in some cases I would want. It. And that being said, the last 48 days I really haven't craved any meat or anything like that. So it's not like uh, eating the the, uh, the uh, whole food plant based what we've been doing. It's like I, I was yeah, telling myself, oh, I need to I need to have some meat to go with. Uh, no. I haven't felt the pride at all. Okay, one of, the, one of the things, I don't know if you said this already, but what, what I would say to that as well is that, as I said before, I'm a pescetarian, and I haven't felt deprived of having my shrimp, my lobster, mm. uh, salmon, snapper, you, 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 name, you name the fish, you know. I, I haven't felt deprived in any way. And um, I agree with Dee. It, it's really... You, you don't actually need it. Right. It's a case of do you want it? Mm -hmm. And I, I think that for the most part, many, many of the Asiatic countries have it right. Meat is almost like a condiment or used as a, a form of seasoning. It doesn't actually dominate the actual meal. What dominates the meal would be vegetables whether they be root vegetables, i.e. starch vegetables, or they be green leafy vegetables, it doesn't, meat doesn't dominate. It's a part of it. Right. Mm -hmm. But you go here, and if you go out and eat, and you have a steak, the steak dominates the plate. And it's the, the central focus. You go out, you eat fish. The fish dominates the plate, and it's the central focus. Mm -hmm. and, and really and truly, it's my personal, and guys, my professional opinion, it doesn't it really doesn't have to be that way that being said i'm a true believer that everybody needs to eat a way in a way that is healthy for them right mm -hmm. one man's meat is yeah. another man's poison because i can hear my brothers now so <laughs> yeah yeah his, his, his brothers i know they were feeling sorry for him one of his brothers Lou <laughs> said that it was a desecrate i was gonna desecrate a pot of beans without putting no pork in, no smoked pork, no, no, no meat. 
How can you desecrate a pot of beans like that? He's from Louisiana. How can you desecrate that? Did you experience any cravings when eating purely a whole food, plant-based diet? But that being said, I, I wanted to say about the cravings. Did you did you talk about you and your ice cream and your cookies? No, and... no. But um, yes, I love my ice cream. I love my cake, especially ice cream. Oh, I love my ice cream. Uh, but blue would then be um, no blue the, bell. Blue bell. But the uh, the forty eight days that we've been doing this, I haven't had uh, a craving for you know dessert. I mean, one day, one day out of the last forty eight days. And I think that was like within the last maybe five, six days that I think, you know, I really wanted something, you know, I wanted something sweet. I wanted a dessert, you know, uh, but it's only one out of 48. Uh, before, it was like every day after that meal, I had to have my dessert. So, yeah. so yeah. Uh, and that's another, to me, that's another good thing by doing the uh, whole food plant base is that I haven't been craving that dessert after, so. Yeah, it's it's a good thing. Yeah, I, I think there's something good came out of it. I would I would say that um, me, for me too. I haven't been craving things like chocolate, etc., etc., etc. And just let me say this: you know, when you're on a when you're doing a whole food plant based uh, diet, um, and or you're doing a whole food plant based life, lifestyle, it doesn't mean that any of those things are off, off, right. off the, um, the 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 menu for you. What it does mean is that you need to read the ingredients because you do have chocolate and chocolate is actually a fermented bean for all intent and purpose. Chocolate, true chocolate is a fermented food. Fermented foods are really, look at me um, rationalizing, uh, <laughs> fermented foods are really, really good for you. That being said, there are, there, you can get chocolate that's actually made with, and if you do soy, you can um, get chocolate that's made with soy milk and soy lecithin rather than um, cow's milk. So you can, but you need to make sure that you actually read the labels. Again, I haven't really been craving any food. Uh, What's the best dish that you had during your whole food plant-based eating experience? It's been every dish. Um, every That's day. for you. I mean, that's for you, Roberta. I think we said this already. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm having a, I'm having a flashback. That's for you, Roberta Guadalajara Garcia. That's for you. No, everything's been great. I mean, yeah, it's come off the, uh, get on the plate, and I'm ready to jump at it. I mean, it's just, yeah. No, it, it, for me, one of the things for those of you who have actually been following. No, I have not cooked. The same thing every day. Now, if there was food left and I created something else from it, then maybe. But I have challenged myself that the main entree would not be the same. Mm -hmm. And in 48 days, that has been it. And that for me has really stretched my horizon. I think some people would think that because you know you're cooking vegetables, it should be really easy. No. 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 And the food has to taste good. I think there's somewhere in people's mind, if you kind of do whole food plant-based, it's this kind of tasteless, you know, kind of mundane, like, oh, vegetables, vegetables. Mm. Yeah. But some of the stuff that I have created has been off the chain. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and it's like, it's like emerald. Ooh, take it oh, yeah, yeah. Take it up and out. <laughs> yes, yeah. there you yeah. go. So. Um, I think that as we went along through through the, the 45 days, etc., well, I think that it got better for me. Progressively, it got better. And one of the things that I said, and I held true to this, was that I wasn't going to rely on some of the vegetarian things that I had done and know how to do when we started this process. Because it would have been really easy to, you know, make aki, aki without the salt fish. It would have been really easy to, you know, make um, curried potatoes, which is what I'm doing tonight. Curried potatoes and chana. All of those things are easy for me. And so it would have been really easy for me to do that. But I said, no, I am going to do things like, one of the dishes that was supreme to me came out, it was excellent. It was the braised leeks. I never had braised leeks in my life. That was so new to me, but it was excellent. 
it was absolute. I mean, that was on point. So for me, it has definitely been a journey of discovery, not only of how to create the food so it tastes right, but a discovery of, of self, right, you know, right, a discovery right. of self. Mm -hmm. And like you yeah. said, this, this journey hasn't ended. It should have ended three days ago. And it's day 48. I believe for Mr. Dearborn, it will end today as in whole food plant-based. Now he's going to flexitarian plant-based. Flexitarian whole food plant-based. I believe today. I believe you're right. I believe today. Yeah. But for me today, but, I'm still on my whole food plant-based journey. I don't know when I will eat fish, when it hits me, and I feel, you know, that I want to, but until such time, I'm still on this, this, this journey. I'm still moving on this journey. What would you suggest to anyone wanting to try whole food plant-based eating? And I will say for the ones, the folks out there that, uh, you know, want to try it, or thinking about trying it, I, I say go for it. Um, look at it uh, as uh, something that you can do. I mean, you got to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this and you're going to, you know, just uh, control yourself and say, hey, you know what? Uh, the dis you got to, you know, discipline yourself and say, hey, I'm going to do it and just go for it. So for all of the, the ladies and the guys out there, especially those guys that, you know, like, uh, don't want to change. Be, uh, uh, You're talking about guys who don't yeah, want to yeah, change? Yeah, the guys, you know, that, uh, see, I got to have my meat, like, you know, I'm not going to call my brother's name, but, you know, or brothers, mm -hmm. but anyway, uh, yeah, so, it, it, you know, go for it. Right. Give it a shot, even if it's like a week. Right. You know, give it a week and, and see what it's like. I, uh, yeah, like I said, I love it. Uh, are we going to continue to do this? Yes. Um, five out of the seven days, it will be whole food plant-based. Yes. The other two days, it will be whole food plant-based plus, plus. Or, or maybe not. If, you know, if we don't want to do it, we just go with whole food plant-based for the seven days. If, if I want, like today, I'm going to try to add some chicken to the menu and see what happens suggestions on how to approach whole food plant-based eating, research, and things that you might want to avoid doing. Um, what, what I would say is, uh, and again, I'm somebody who cooks, I'm a cook. So what I would say is- I'm a cook too. He's a cook too, he's a cook too. He's gonna cook his chicken if he's having chicken tonight. Um, yeah, baby. <laughs> um, what, what I would say is, is this, do some research into menus, mm. okay? Don't try to recreate something that only meat or fish can do. Don't try to recreate it using vegetables. D d don't. Mm. You know, you can't make as nice as they are, you know, like the portobello mushrooms. You know, I put them on the grill and stuff, uh -huh. and, and they call they call them steaks, you know, um, mushroom yeah. steak. Very no, good. it's a mushroom. Mm. Mm. It's not a steak. Right. So don't try to recre recreate a dish um, with something that is plant-based and expect it to taste like meat right. or fish right. or chicken or pork. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Nope. And then what happens is people are like, oh, I don't like this. Right. Expect it to taste like a supreme vegetable, vegetable. which mm. is what it is, right. okay? Yeah. Yep. Things that we liked and didn't like on this whole food plant-based journey. Things that I liked. Um, and I know I asked you and you said everything, so nah. Everything. Uh, uh, nah. <laughs> the, the dish that I liked the most was the Jamaica Rundown. Run, run. Oh. Run down. If they even have it, you know. <laughs> you know how long we're married and in in the have it. I run down, man. I Jamaica I run down. You run down. So so Jamaica run down. And what I did was I roasted a whole group of um of, of root vegetables and then I put it into it really should be a, a coconut custard. But I don't like it custardy like when the oil separates from the coconut. 
milk. I, I, I'm not feeling that so much. So I do mine just to the point where it may do that. That was the, oh, that was on point. That so far has been my favorite. One of the things that I found and it surprised me that I didn't care for was uh, Satan and that's wheat meat where you use wheat gluten and you can use wheat gluten and you put like red beans in it or white beans in it and um, you know you can use what's this balsamic vinegar and you can put soy products in there and all of that and you make you make this it's like a dough and then you can steam it or you can bake it etc etc and then you can stir fry it you can roast it you can you can make char siu this and all things that you can use meat for in a dish you can use this wheat meat to recreate and i have to admit i was very surprised i've made i made i made a couple one of the dishes it was definitely okay you know i i, I liked it the other dish i didn't like it and then the one that saturday with the with the meatballs oh yes that yes. was an epic <laughs> fail an epic but i didn't even bother record anything on that it was just an epic fail i threw that stuff away mm. and i decided at that point i am not into faux meats which is what wheat meat is i'm not into faux meats um beyond burger gets a little pass for me um because i actually like that burger and i'm going to try it in carl's jr i can't wait to try it in carl's jr i want to try that in carl's jr but beyond beyond meat gets a pass for me but again it's really highly processed right. and it's not made from vital wheat gluten um but again that i i was i was a little surprised because i thought oh you know this would be a good substitute I can do some stuff, you know, like I can make some my orange chicken and da 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 and all this sort of stuff. But that didn't work for me so much. So that isn't something that I will be using in mass. This one dish, it was the ginger, the ginger, what was it? The ginger, I think it ginger orange or something. Ginger. But there was there was a dish that I made and it actually was pretty good. And so if I used wheat meat, it would be just for that. The one thing that I have discovered that I am truly in love with, and that soy product, whether it is tempeh or, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Soy? Right. Tofu. Whether, whether it's tempeh or whether it's tofu. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with that. And they've got different types, different firmness. I definitely am a soy, tofu, tempeh person. That being said, one of the things that I created also that I didn't like it was a tempeh in homemade teriyaki sauce the sauce was good but i had cut the tempeh in two bigger chunks and i didn't kind of like that that was one of the the dishes that you know would i recreate that yes but with the tempeh cut smaller and for all of those for everybody who who um has been uh following us everything that i'm speaking about you'll see the video for except for the meatballs i didn't record those and I enjoyed everything that you see on Yeah, because he, he really liked love, that. And I love. was just sad. I mean, I was I was like sad. And then, um, what was the other thing? Oh, the, the cornbread. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the cornbread. The cornbread. Mm -hmm. The cornbread, the cornbread, the cornbread. I researched several recipes and I researched different egg substitutes and all of that jazz. And I made the cornbread. I think I used applesauce as the substitute. Mm, something like that. I could have cried. You know, if you don't actually take it out of the uh, pan, excuse me, out of the pan when you've done it, you come back to it and it's all soggy on the bottom. It was absolutely, I was like, I was too through because I made soup that night mm -hmm. and, and cornbread. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh-uh, no, no, not doing this again. Not doing this again. Give me Jiffy Mix with the lard. No, I'm only playing. I'm only playing. I actually don't use Jiffy Mix anymore. I, I, I'll make my own cornbread from scratch using eggs. Um, but that, those, those three things stuck out the most for me. What was the most surprising thing for you that you experienced on your whole food plant-based journey? The most surprising thing um, I think I found was 
how much I enjoyed the food. Mm. How much I enjoyed the food. Again, for people who know me and who've eaten at my home, you know that when you sit down, the table's colourful. Every colour under the sun. And again, bringing it right back round to you making choices in your life and supporting those choices. You need all these colours in your life. You need the textures. You, 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 you need the shapes. You need the smells, the aromas. You need everything, the crunch. The, you need all these things to help to support you. And the uh, roasted vegetables, I mean, speaking of what things that stands out, uh, the roasted uh, Brussels sprouts and the beets, for me, can murder. <laughs> can murder them. I he love said them. murder them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the roasted yeah, beets. I, I love them. I love them. Roasted mm. beets, especially, uh, I, I like them in particular with the um, balsamic yeah, reductions, right. whether it's white balsamic vinegar or regular um, dark balsamic vinegar I love them with that really really nice really really nice roasting roasting vegetables there's a fine art to that and we're gonna be we're gonna be bringing all of that to you guys all of that's coming to you and I really mean this yep. we're gonna start the process um, from the salad dressings to the salads to um, even the Beyond Meat burgers to the what do you call them? The portobello mushrooms. Uh, 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 everything that I cook, the lentils, uh, split peas, the dal, oh, everything that I cook. Oh, the other thing that I wasn't feeling, oh, Lord, was I did the curried red beans. Now, when I did the curried red beans, oh. will I do them again? You can bet your life I will. Will I do them the same way that I did it? No. I'll do it the way sister girl knows how to do it. I'll hook it up West Indian style. That being said, I'll have that again. But when I recreated it to soup, oh, yes. the red bean mm -hmm. soup, mm -hmm. now would I do it that way to create red bean soup? Yeah. Yes, I would. The soup was off the chain. Mm -hmm. But just to say, uh, to have that, that was the other dish I wasn't really feeling. So there were a couple but of things. I was that feeling I was it. He yeah. loved it. So. He loved it. He loved it. And I'm glad he loved it because it makes my life a whole group easier. So guys, this is what we wanted to share with you. This has been, I don't know, we've been here maybe about half an hour, but I wanted to share with you uh, my experience and Dee wanted to share his experience. Um, don't be afraid, go for it. And for, for all, Step the, out there. The, all the naysayers who said, I think it was um, Lisa Scott, her husband, who said, He's lying. He don't <laughs> like that stuff. Is that true? I love it. Thank you. And I haven't been stopping that Popeyes or Kentucky's or nothing <laughs> like that. So, <laughs> so, so. Yeah, because some people be really, they be like, that brother been to Popeyes. No. He been to Kentucky. No. He's eating on the road. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's been good, guys. And like I said, for me, for D, for us, our journey is continuing. Um, whether it be whether it be on the pescetarian side, whether it be on the flexitarian side, there's going to be something whole based, plant, food up underneath that. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So, is there anything else that you'd like nope. to share? No. Nope, just good. do it. Yep. I'm like, just do it, just guys. Do it. Just do it. Yeah. Do the research. Know what you like. Um, if you like lasagna, recognize you can make a beautiful lasagna without meat without cheese that's another thing you don't need cheese it's yeah. amazing you know yeah. i make pesto you, you don't need cheese right but commit to the process do the recipes figure out what your taste profile is um i i actually like sour what mm -hmm. would you say yours is sour sweet salty yeah i would say you know kind of sour sweet sweet and okay sour. sweet and sour yeah i like sour and salty okay. That, that's where I vibe, mm. then followed by sweet. But I like sour salty. And of course, I always like hot. Like, And I'm not talking about spicy. People say things are spicy. There's a difference between spicy and something being hot from using chilies. Um, and I like hot. I like right. chilies. I like habanero peppers. Scotch bunny. Love it. So guys, on that note, I'm actually going to get ready to start dinner. And yes, um, it's about that time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for coming on this journey with us. Yes, and like Nike says, just do it. There you go.
Just do it. So I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn from The Laws of Attraction in Action and of course food beyond its nutrition. Until next time guys, peace. The most surprising thing um, I think I found was how much I enjoyed the food. Mm. How much I enjoyed the food. Again, for people who know me and who've eaten at my home, you know that when you sit down, the table's colorful. Every color under the sun. And again, Bringing it right back round to you making choices in your life and supporting those choices. You need all these colors in your life. You need the textures. You, 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 you need the shapes. You need the smells, the aromas. You need everything, the crunch. The, you need all these things to help to support you. And the uh, roasted vegetables, I mean, speaking of what things that stands out, uh, the roasted uh, Brussels sprouts and the beets for me, can murder, <laughs> can murder them. I he love said them. murder them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the roasted yeah, beets. I, I love them. I love them. Roasted mm. beets, especially. Uh, I, I like them in particular with the um, balsamic yeah, the, reductions. Right, right. Whether it's white balsamic vinegar or regular um, dark balsamic vinegar, I love them with that. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Roasting, roasting vegetables. There's a fine art to that. And we're gonna be we're gonna be bringing all of that to you guys. All of that's coming to you, and I really mean this. Yep. We're gonna start the process um, from the salad dressings to the salads to um, even the Beyond Meat burgers to the what do you call them? The portobello mushrooms. I, 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 everything that I cook, the lentils, uh, split peas, the dal. Oh, Everything that I could. Oh, the other thing that I wasn't feeling. Oh, Lord. Was I did the curried red beans. Now, when I did the curried red beans, oh. will I do them again? You can bet your life I will. Will I do them the same way that I did it? No. I'll do it the way Sister Girl knows how to do it. I'll hook it up West Indian style. That being said, I'll have that again. But when I recreated it to soup, oh, yes. the red bean mm -hmm. soup, mm -hmm. 
Mm. Now, would I do it that way to create yeah. red bean yeah. soup? Yes, I would. Mm. The soup was off the chain. Mm. But just to say, uh, to have that, that was the other dish I wasn't really feeling. So there were a couple of things. I was feeling it. He yeah. loved it. Yeah, he loved it. He loved it. And I'm glad he loved it because it makes my life a whole group easier. So guys, this is what we wanted to share with you. This has been, I don't know, we've been here maybe about half an hour, but I wanted to share with you uh, my experience and Dee wanted to share his experience. Um, don't be afraid, go for it. And for, for all Step the, out there. the all the naysayers who said, I think it was um, Lisa Scott, her husband, who said, he's lying, he don't <laughs> like that stuff. Is that true? I love it. Thank you. And I haven't been stopping that Popeyes or Kentuckys or nothing <laughs> like that. So, <laughs> so, so. Yeah, because some people have been really, they'll be like, that yeah. brother's been to Popeyes. No. He's been to Kentucky. No. He's eating on the road. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's been good, guys. And like I said, for me, for D, for us, yeah. our journey is continuing. Yeah. Um, whether it be whether it be on the pescetarian side, whether it be on the flexitarian side, there's going to be something whole based, plant, yeah. food up underneath that. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So, is there anything else that you'd like nope. to share? No, nope, I'm just good. Just do it. Yep. I'm like, just do it, just guys. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Do the research. Know what you like. Um, if you like lasagna, recognize you can make a beautiful lasagna without meat. Without cheese, that's another thing, you don't need cheese. It's yeah. amazing, you know yeah. I make pesto, you, you don't need cheese. Right. But commit to the process, do the recipes, figure out what your taste profile is. Um, I, I actually like sour. What mm -hmm. would you say yours is? Sour, sweet, salty? Yeah, I would say, you know, kind of sour, sweet, sweet and okay, sour. Okay, sweet and sour? Yeah. I like sour and salty. Right. That, that's where I vibe. Mm -hmm. Then followed by sweet. But I like mm -hmm. sour, salty. And of course, I always like hot. Like, and I'm not talking about spicy. People say things are spicy. There's a difference between spicy and something being hot from using chilies. Um, and I like hot. I like right. chilies. I like habanero peppers. Scotch bunny. Mm -hmm. Love it. So guys, on that note, I'm actually going to get ready to start dinner. And, yes, um, it's about that time. So. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for coming on this journey with us. Yes, and like Nike says, just do it. There you go, just do it. So I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn from The Laws of Attraction in Action and of course Food Beyond Its Nutrition. Until next time guys, peace.